We have an announcement finally on whether cell phones cause cancer. It's something that could affect all of us and our children. Scientists from the World Health Organization have been reviewing studies for the last week or so. I want to bring in our senior medical correspondent, Elizabeth Cohen, uh, who joins us live with the findings. Essentially, what did they find? The World Health Organization says that the radiation from mobile devices like cell phones is a possible carcinogen to humans. This is a very big deal because you and I have done segments about this before. Sure. It has gone back and forth. And this is really the first time that a large group, and it, you know, and it doesn't get any more sort of prestigious in many ways than the WHO, to say that it's a possible carcinogen. It puts it in the company of several other kinds of things. And so I want to tell you what it is, and I think that might give people an idea of what we're talking about. It puts it in the company of things like uh, lead is also a possible carcinogen, according to the WHO, as well as engine exhaust and chloroform. So that sort of gives you an idea of the kind of risk that we're talking about. So here. I, I can't help but ask, I mean, should we, should we be alarmed? Should we be freaking out over this information? You know what? I really hope that people who are listening to me are not freaked out. For two reasons. One, they, they won't do the right thing, and we'll talk about what the right thing is in a minute. And two, they'll, they'll panic, and that's kind of silly, because all, this, all these years we've been on cell phones and holding them to our heads, which is right, the, exactly. what we're talking about as being bad, that's done. You can't do anything about that. And if you're on the phone right now, you don't, you don't need to drop it. You know, it's not that kind of a carcinogen. It's a kind of a carcinogen, or allegedly, possibly, that would build up over time. One phone call, doctors tell me, is not going to give you cancer. So what should we be doing? What, you know With what? this new information, what on earth should we be doing now? We are so lucky that there is something that we can do. Because a lot of medical problems we can't. But we're lucky that there is something. And I am holding it in my hands right now. You use a device to keep that phone away from your head. Okay, I'm going to make it very simple. This is what experts that I talk to don't want you to do. This radiation is, is, go, is very close to your head. The minute that you put one of these in, you can hold the phone at a distance. At this distance, that radiation is dissipating. It's, it's not going to affect you very much, if at all. Hold it away from your head, which means using a wired piece like this or a Bluetooth or put it on speakerphone. Keep it away from your head. That's the bottom line, and it's really easy to do. I mean, I can count on one hand the number of times in the past year that I have spoken on the phone like this. I just don't do it. I'm going to change my habits. Uh, do you have any idea or, or did who say anything about whether or not it can be on your body, on your person, in a pocket, in a holster, or anything like that? Did they weigh in you know, at all? WHO really focused on gliomas, which, is, which are brain tumors, because that's what a lot of the studies have been on. But, Suzanne, I've certainly spoken to experts who say that they themselves do not carry it on their bodies, that they figure why, why take that risk if, 